For now, though, let's say hello to the one and only Jan Bojovic, who oh, he's smiling. Of course he's smiling. He's always smiling. Hello, Jan. How are you? Hello, hello. I don't want, don't want to waste my energy to be sad and, you know, angry. Good for you. <laughs> Good for, but, I, you know, yeah. I was wondering, Jan, because uh, on Monday I saw the video from Yuri Prokhaska. Let's get right into it. We're not going to waste time here. Yuri Prokhaska comes out and makes a big announcement. I have made the decision. I'm going to fight Glover again. Now, of course, UFC has to weigh in on this. And then you came back with a tweet, and we're going to show the tweet right here, where you said that he is not living up to the samurai code. You said, quote, Jan is for me the biggest challenge, end quote. Your words, respect you, champ, but the samurai code was not upheld. What did you mean by this? You know, I'm not the expert, but if you, you know, start uh, reading about samurai culture and stuff like this, so in my opinion, in my knowledge, I, like I tell you, I'm not expert. Yes. Uh, he he break the rules, you know. He break his own code. Who believe in this code? Yeah. He believe in this. He live in samurai way. So he he uh, he, he you know he upheld this, this this code. So in my opinion, in about my knowledge and uh, what I know about uh, samurai. And and what that's what why you... I I say this. That's why I say that. But what are you referring to? What what did he break? What was the code that he gave you his word? Because he he said that I'm biggest challenge for him now. Always samurai looking the biggest challenge, you know. And if they find it, they want to find again this uh, challenge. So if he say that, I am the biggest challenge. So or he lying or he do some I don't know what what he thinking about that that he now he changed his decision. This is a question for him right now, you know. Uh, what did you make of his video? What he said, the reason why he said he wanted to fight Glover, um, he he kind of laid it out. No, this, this, yeah, he. I think that you know, like politics, you know, now he will uh, say everything to you know uh, to protect himself. Hmm. Uh, did you see him in Las Vegas? Yeah, we take a photo together. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> what what was the what was the vibe like? What was the conversation like? No conversation, you know, I just, you know, I'm waiting for you. I'm going to be ready for you. And that's it, you know, and see, okay. I, but no, no big conversation between us, you know, but, but considering whatever was said there in Las Vegas and then a week, yeah, I feel that he won't fight with me. Yeah. So he said a lot of, you know, in this, uh, you know, uh, in the interviews and also people when, uh, when it was the big, the, the event before uh, UFC, there was the event, yeah, the, the, with the UFC. So people, yeah, you, you really say now that he won't fight you against you. So I was happy uh, to hear that. Yeah. But he didn't want to do it. Uh, and when you saw his video, were you surprised? Not now, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised because nobody expected that. Uh, but what can I do? I'm waiting for official decision and that's it, you know. We will see. This Maybe is he changed his mind again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good point, though, because ultimately, as you know, the UFC is the one who decides. And so I'm wondering, since yeah. you have seen this video, you, your management, I don't, anyone reach out to the UFC and say, hey, do you guys agree with this? Yeah, yeah we, we start talking up with, with them, but, you know, I cannot tell you. Uh, Why not? <laughs> and, 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 you know. Why can't you tell us? Well, <laughs> secret, <laughs> secret service. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Do you think there's a chance they don't go in that direction and they give it to you? Whoa, Jan, what is going on here? Wait, so are you confident? Nobody knows. You have confident? You have confidence? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is, what, Jan, we'll what is happening here? <laughs> you, I feel like you know something that we don't know right now. You know, uh, I always know something what you don't know. You sure, know? that's You're true. Fighter, one of the best, so. <laughs> that's true. You know a lot of things that I don't know. But, you, you, uh, but I think you know more than all of us. Well. You've got good you know. It's the nose. <laughs> good, yeah, good nose. I yeah. can sniff things, you know? Good research. Thank you. Wow, this, okay, now you've kind of thrown a curveball my way. I don't know if you know that metaphor. Like now, okay, I'm, I'm starting to think different things here. You know, uh, give me one second. Sure. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. One second. Oh, you got to go to the bathroom break? Uh, let's say hello now to uh, Chris, Chris Avila. Is he going to pop up? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine Chris Avila pops up right now. Oh, whoa. <laughs> This is better than Chris. I Apple. think the, the my sword is just better than Yuri's sword. You know, this is his katana. The Witcher sword is much better. Holy! Oh my gosh! Wow! So, like I told you, I'm ready. Wherever he wants, he's not ready. Not yet. Oh my gosh! But I, like I told, I, I've got a lot of respect to him. 
He's the champion. He decide. By the way, where is that sword from? Uh, one, you know, uh, one, uh, one man who do it, stuff like this uh, doing for me. He got special license to do it. Jeez. Uh, like black blacksmiths, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it for me. Have you ever this used guy. it before outside? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> wow. Not uh, yet. And is made in Poland? Yeah, in Poland. I feel like you've just laid down the gauntlet. Like this is the challenge. You think you're samurai? Yeah, I'm samurai too. He, he has to. He he need to. You know, samurai code. Yes. <laughs> he need to. And uh, yeah, and I've got second one. If oh. he, if he read this one. Oh, you got more props. So I've got. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're like Drew McIntyre. Maybe you recognize that one. Um, where's that from? Uh, Conan Barbarian Soul. Oh yeah! Wow, is that a real one? Yes. Jesus. This one made made in London, you know. Jeez, Louise, how much does that cost? I don't know. This is this was a gift. So oh, I'm okay, asked. very nice. From Arnold? What is not a cheap? This is not cheap thing. <laughs> gift from Arnold himself? Schwarzenegger? No, not yet. Maybe in future. Yeah. <laughs> there will be honor for me. Legend. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so, so you're taking this seriously. You're not here to mess around. I am. I am serious. <laughs> Can I ask you, Jan, uh, when you were there in Singapore and he won the fight and we saw you guys on camera speaking to each other, which I thought was brilliant on your part to be there, that's what you got to do. What did you say to him? I, I said, very good uh, very good fight, congratulations. But anyway, I'm here uh, to challenge you. I am next in, in line. And what did that's he say to you? I don't remember. <laughs> he was, you know, he was happy because he, he won the fight. And, sure. But I remember that he said, he said, okay, I'll be ready for you, something like this. Right. But I don't remember correctly, you know. And then he blew a kiss to you. No, he wanted to kiss him, but I don't know that samurai kiss. Okay. This is what I had to check. Okay, all right. A different man. It's weird. <laughs> what do you think of Yuri? But, you know, look at, look at me. You're a good-looking guy. Surprising. Yeah, but... Sorry. You're taken. I've got woman. My right. <laughs> what, what, what do you what do you make of Yuri? He's a different kind of cat. Um, you know, he's he 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 does, he's not like your typical fighter. I think a lot of people like him for that, but what do you make of him? No, I like him, you know. He's got crazy style. He is, you know, he's got his his own world. Uh, and that's it, you know. He I don't know him, you know, personally. So much. So what can I say? I can say only what I see in the interviews and in the in the cage. So sure. that's what I see. He's okay. I've got a lot of respect to him, but you know, still he 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 gave me, he owed me the fight. <laughs> mm. What about that finish and the fight itself? Were you shocked that he was able to submit Glover in the fifth round like that? Me. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, the fight was crazy. This fight was, you know, every time I think that's a, Okay, Glover gonna have him now. No, something changed. Yuri gonna have him. No, it was crazy fight, yeah. Uh, and of course, I was a little bit uh, surp um, surprised because I don't think that he, he's so good on the ground, and but he is. Yeah, good defense and also uh, good. He know how to submit people, so I was surprised a little bit. Do you think Glover should have won? Like, do you think Glover made more mistakes that uh, if he was on his game, perhaps the Glover that met you in Abu Dhabi last year? you know, in, in a, in a different world is beating him. You know, I, I don't know. Fight is the fight. Every fight is a little bit different. You no, know? I think that, you know, Glover will win, win this fight, you know, 30 more seconds and the decision will be on his side. So he, he makes a little, uh, little bit mistakes on the ground. Uh, yeah. And that costs him this, this win, you know, mm. this one. Well, what do you think in your opinion, based on, you know, what you've seen, you were there front row, what's the key to beating Yuri? You know he he got good stand up, crazy stand up. You don't know what he's gonna do uh, with ankles. You know he's like cra crazy style, yeah. But uh, also in this crazy style, he got a lot of you know holes mm. to, and place to you can you can catch him and hit him. You know, so of course this is what if I will have chance to fight against him, and I believe that I'm gonna have it. If not now, so in future, mm -hmm. uh, I will find this 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 hole. You know, because there is a lot of them. If they fought again, those two, uh, who do you think wins? Mm. Same, 50-50. Mm. So it depends on who shows up. Yeah, it's like, you know, who who 
<laughs> but, I, but I think that if they if, if they do the rematch, the, the fight will be completely different, you know? Mm. How so? But, but, but I, I, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> okay. We will see what's going to happen. But there's not going to be a rematch, right? No, I don't think so. Not yet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Any we will see. All right, all right, all right. But, uh, you know, yeah. he, 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 I think he still have a... He broke his hand, yeah? He broke okay. Injury. So we have to wait, first of all, that... I wish him help, you know, to back to shape. Sure, sure. With with this guy, how fast he, he can, and we'll see when he's gonna be ready to, to to fight. I saw when you posted the picture of you guys. You said biggest fight in European history. Is there any? Ch- let's just say perfect world. This happens next for you. Any chance it happens in Europe? I hope so. It, this fight like this have to be in Europe, you know. Yeah. In Poland, national stadium from somewhere have to be, you know. Europe deserve for this fight. You know like they're going to try to put it in like Las Vegas you, or Dallas, right? This fight. They can't do it in America. You know, of course they can do it, but wow. uh, I think the the Europe is that for fight like this here. Sure. Our, you know, the continent. Yeah. Did you see the, the amount of people that showed up for his parade? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, that was crazy. Nice. Incredible, right? Yeah, incredible. Incredible. Amazing. Yeah. I have similar thing in Poland, not oh. too big, but similar. So I know what he's feeling. This yeah. Is, this, this is amazing feeling, you know, when you come back to your town, to your home, to to your country and so many people visit you and, you know, celebrate your, your, your win. So it's amazing. Were you surprised that that many people showed That's up? Why I want to feel it again, you know? <laughs> of course. I don't blame you. Were you surprised that many people showed up for him? Mm, I don't know. You know, maybe a little bit. Uh, but you no know, MMA in Czech Republic is very big right now, you know. Okay. Even before you, they, they they have you know a lot of big uh, events over there and a lot of people uh, come to watch the the event. So they love MMA also. Uh, you were very busy in Las Vegas. I, I I didn't see you personally, but I saw you doing a lot of things. And then what's up with this guy Kamara Usman doing a face off with you? I mean, he doesn't really think one seventy going to two hundred five. What is what is happening here? But I saw. He was, he's, He's big, like, you know. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? If he wants to do it. If if not, you know, if not Iri, why not him? Now, how did but that happen? Kenny... That picture. Sorry? How did that picture happen between you two guys? Because, you know, we live, uh, we, we do, everybody leave the arena and I meet him and just, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know how it <laughs> happened. We just do it, you know. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you're taller than him, but he he is a big guy. Like I'm, I'm looking at the picture right now. We're showing the picture right now. He's a big guy, right? He is a big guy, yeah. But also, this is perspective. You know? Ah, okay, okay, okay. You think he could have success? No, he is big. You think he can have success at big. 205? Honestly, of course, but not with me. Ah, yes. If he won't fight with me, he's gonna lose. Right. Uh, one guy who moved up and did not have success with you is Israel Desanya. You were there, by the way. What did you make of his performance against uh, Jared Cannonier? You know, <laughs> that was a good fight. Maybe not best, but but really good fight. I enjoy it. What well, you know, I don't know why people say a lot of uh, <clears throat> bad words about this fight. You know, maybe that wasn't the best fight ever what I see in my life, but also that I saw worst fight. Also. Yeah. So for me, it was a pretty good fight. You know, I, I I think that that fight could could look like this. Should look like this. Can I ask your opinion on something? Do you think your fight with Israel changed him as a fighter? In other words, he was undefeated as an MMA fighter. He tastes defeat. I think he handled the loss very well. He speaks about it very well. He doesn't, you know, regret it, anything. But do you feel like his style has changed as a result of the loss because he doesn't want to lose again? Maybe. Maybe, maybe this is the reason that now he will be very careful in the fight, you know, to do, 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 do not any mistake. To just don't lose the fight, you know. Yeah, you think so? So maybe I have to cut. Maybe I have to cut the weight <laughs> and give give him rematch in his category. Could you do that? Could for you make one eighty five? If I have a you know uh, chance, uh, why not? With is easy for his belt for fight for the belt. I can try. You can do when what's what's the lowest you've ever been at as a as a fighter? As a fighter. <laughs> I don't remember, but uh, when I was an amateur fighter in Muay Thai, that was uh, 91 kilos, so two or uh, two or three, oh. two or two or two, something like this. Yeah, two, 291. 
200, okay, yeah. You think you could get to 85? I don't think you could get to 85. You're a big guy. Uh, okay, but you know, title. Title. I can sacrifice myself a little bit. <laughs> All right, yeah, but I need to start doing it right now and fight in the end of the year. <laughs> All right, you, but you, you, you're serious about this. You would do it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I will do it. Wow. Why not? And and uh, you saw Alex Pajeda, that guy who has a history with him. You think he could beat Izzy at 185? He got everything to do it. We'll see. He's he's yeah, he's strong. He's good. Impressive guy. He beat him twice in kickboxing. Yeah, I saw it. But you know, fighting you saw this fight in kickboxing? Yeah. That was, you know, that was a tough fight for both of them. Both of them, but, yes. Yeah, but he knocked him, yeah, yeah. But he, in the in the in the end he knocked him out twice, so he's better. You watch both of them? Uh, one for sure and just you know highlights. Right. Um and by the way, when you were in Singapore, you were there when uh, the great Yoani on Jacek retired. Um, I'm just curious, like, what were your emotions when you saw that she represents your country so well? I know you're friends with her. When you saw her do that, what did you feel? I was sad a little bit, but anyway, I was happy because I know that she do. She did everything what she, you know, amazing thing in the UFC, you know, and I'm happy that I, uh, I live in the times when she do it, you know, and I'm happy that I'm her friend. <clears throat> so I was sad, but anyway, I, I was, you know, also happy because I know that uh, she got a lot of business. She wants to be a mom, so uh, she will be happy also outside the octagon. But if UFC will come back to Poland and will they do this this fight in you know national stadium, I will talk to her and she will do last fight. <laughs> you think she'll do it? <laughs> yeah, you know she she. For, I, I I think so. Yes, you know. And you know what? She 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 put the Polish flag on the belt. You know. That's right. Yeah. She, she was the first one. You were the second. Yes. And what a time for Polish MMA. Uh, you're doing well. We had Karolina Kowalkiewicz get a big win. Mateusz Gamrot with a big win recently. It's time. They need to come back to Poland. They need to have a big event there. Yeah, we're waiting for, for UFC here. I, I hope so. They will be back in this year here. We'll you, see. You think so this year? We will see. I hope so. Wow. Yeah, and I feel like you know a lot of things and you're kind of... You're a poker player. You're not telling us. Yeah, I know how to play in poker. Yes. By the way, you know how to play <laughs> poker. It seems to me like you know how to play basketball too. I saw some photos of you playing basketball with the great yeah, uh, the Marcin Gortat. Game. Yes. Look at we have yes. some photos yeah. here. Look at you. You look like Jerry West out there, uh, Jan. You look fantastic. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Okay, fine. Charles Barkley. Yeah, you're a strong guy. How's your basketball game? A uh, couple years ago was better. Okay. Now I don't play a long time, so I forget uh, the move. But but still, you know, still I remember what to do. Uh, what this but was? We it? lose the game. Yeah. You lost. <laughs> yeah, we lost the game. Mm. We play. That was charity game. Uh, you know, uh, like sportsmen, not sportsmen, but like uh, you know, celebrities and sportsmen uh, play against a uh, uh, Polish military guy. Oh my! Yeah. So and you and lost. They. they, they yeah, we lost by three points. But you know, uh, if you see how they play, they they know each other. They ah, they train this, you know. Okay, okay, okay. We, you know, I was I see most of these people just first time in my <laughs> life, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun, and you know, a good idea. So, and there's an amazing show, you know, ten thousand people on uh, nine, ten thousand people, you know, on your wow. Africa, so I was amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, and this was a charity for uh, Ukraine, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, were you were you the only fighter involved? Yes, mm. only me. Well, you looked great out there. Well, could... I have a lot of no on my account. <laughs> you have a lot of what? <laughs> Fouls, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, well, Illegal listen, <laughs> you're a big guy. You're a strong guy. Also, I wanted to ask you about this last time. I saw also on your Instagram someone made like a life size Lego of you, like a statue out of Lego. Where is that? Yeah, there is in one uh, big mall in in Warsaw. Wow. So we can go there and not only me, but there is like a lot of, uh, you know, like Lego, Lego things. But my, my, uh, they made myself like 80,000 pieces, you know. <laughs> Whoa. Who made it? One guy? No, a couple of them, you know. Okay. And so it's there right now. And also, they, 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 yeah, it's still over there. And it's, it just look amazing. Everything what they've done, you know, <laughs> they are incredible, really crazy, you know? of how they create this this thing from Lego.
My my goal is uh, I want to go over there to uh, to see Mariusz Pujanowski against Mamed Kalidov. Who knows? Maybe they will do it. Yeah, they told me. You know what they told me, KSW? They said I could be in the cage and give a trophy to the winner. Okay. So maybe I'll be I'll there. I'll be sitting you know, on the arena and watch the fight. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be in the cage as a as a big luminary, celebrity, uh, you know, trophy giver. Nice. But yeah, be Good. cool. Nice. So I will show the city before and after. Oh, that would be great. I would love that. Yeah. Um, and then maybe they'll do it. Around, you know, it would be smart. They do it around the same time as your fight in Poland for the belt. Massive weekend for Polish MMA. What do you think? Friday, KSW, mm-hmm. Saturday, UFC. Too much? Too much? Too much. Too okay. much, you know. I need, I think that, you know, two weeks or three weeks break. Separation, okay. Between this and this, yeah. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> what know, is your... <laughs> inflation in Poland is very big right now. So yeah. People have to save oh, money. okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can't ask them to spend in the same. Uh, your prediction is when? When do you think this uh, title fight happens? For who? For me or for... for you. <laughs> with Izzy or with... Uh, uh, no, no, uh, with, uh, with Yiri. Uh, Samurai. <laughs> I would like fighting this year in the end of this year. Okay. In Poland. You know, now it's, yeah, holidays, vacation, so sure. I enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So I'm still on the, I'm every day in the gym, but yeah, not, not, don't train so hard. So in conclusion, you see the video, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm upset. You have a couple calls. You're not so upset. Is that fair? Yeah, I'm not, because, you know, like I told you in the beginning of our conversation, I don't want to waste my energy for sure. stuff like this to be upset anymore. Could I ask, before, I'm just waiting. before I let you go, uh, if you can give a message to Yuri, what would it be? Yuri, you say this many times. I'm the biggest challenge for you, so let's go, let's do it. Let's go and do it to Europe. Deserve for this fight. We have to do it. We'll leave it at that. Not Europe. All oh. world is there for this. Fight. Yeah. All world is there for this fight, but you know, also Europe, you know, like we have to do it here in our uh, continent. And even your dear friend Glover, he's getting up there in age, almost retired. You don't want to let him have his last fight, and then you know, you, you, not so close. No, you know, Glover, I like you, but you know, now it's my turn. Uh, it's business. You know, it's business. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, well, good luck getting the fight. Thank you as always for coming on, Jan. Appreciate you, and uh, we'll see. And by the way, those those swords. I think you should come out to one of the, with the, one of those swords. Like you should walk out with that. That'd be incredible. Yeah, if you know, if fight will be somewhere in Europe, it's so easy to take it. So I will take. Oh, it. that's right. Okay, yeah, you can't fly with it and everything. I get it. Um, all right. Well, very impressive. It looks weird, you know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it does look weird. Uh, thank you so much, Jan. Good luck to you, my friend. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you for all right for conversation for. Thirty. The man. Love talking to Jan. What a legend. What a mensch he is.